All right, YouTube, so we are back with another Final Fantasy VII Remake discussion video. This time we're talking about the game being Midgar only. Again, we've had this conversation a few times, but something a bit different about whether or not Square Enix is actually lying about the game being Midgar only. Which I know sounds kind of crazy, but that's the belief of some people within the community. I've had people comment on my videos all the time about this, as recent as today, actually, which kind of sparked this video idea. Now, we've talked quite a few times in other videos about the possibility of being able to explore the overworld a little bit when it comes to a Final Fantasy VII Remake, so I'm not going to go over all the bits of information. But the sort of TLDR on this is that the game is supposed to be Midgar only, and the area outside of Midgar, all the way up to Calm, is technically still called Midgar. And we know based on the story synopsis we got not too long back that the game actually goes up to the point of us escaping Midgar similar to the original game's Midgar segment. So based on that, there might be the possibility that we could explore the overworld a little bit, either in the end game or maybe like the after story, after credits, we can explore to calm maybe. Or maybe even more than that, maybe we go up to the Chuckle Farm, maybe even as far as the Midgar Zalem in the swamp and he's actually like the super boss of the game. We've talked about that before. Either way, it's just sort of a theory, it's a bit of speculation, it's something that we've been talking about for months at this point, it's not based on anything that's happened recently. By the way, I think it's reasonable, I think it's possible, it's not asking for too much, we're not asking Square Enix to, you know, give us the entire world to explore, just a little bit of it, right? If I could walk to Calm, I'd be satisfied with that. But there are people with much higher expectations than that, they think Square Enix is lying about the game being Midgar only, and are expecting to see stuff like the Gold Saucer, or even, major spoiler warning here, we'll take a quick pause. As far as the Forgotten Capital, which also means we get Eris' death. Which of course, this scene takes place at the end of the first disc. Which means that those people expect the first game for FF7 Remake to cover the entirety of the first disc of the original game, which I think is an absolute reach. That's absolutely not happening. Now first, we could probably chalk this up to maybe some misinformation. It's the first game for the Remake project, so maybe you could see why people might think that it covers just the first disc. But you have people that are blatantly saying that Square Enix is lying about the game being Midgar only, so they're not misinformed. What I think we have here is hopeful wishing and people that don't want to accept the fact that the game is just Midgar, and that we're not getting the full FF7 story in one game. Because when you get down to it, there's no evidence of Square Enix lying about the game being Midgar only, and why would they? It would only help their marketing if they were like, you know what, remember the iconic world of Gaia that you got to walk through in 1997? You can do that in this game. You can go to Gold Saucer and play all the mini games there. Like, they'd put that in the marketing, obviously. Let's also not forget that if the game went up to the point of Eris' death, that means we'd get the entire roster of characters. We'd get Yuffie, Vincent, Sid, and Kate Sith. And if we had the entire ensemble here, they definitely wouldn't be saying the game's Midgar only, and they would be showing off these characters. And also because of how much focus they're putting on Midgar, making it hopefully entirely explorable, every single sector, slum, all that stuff, even if the story went up to the point of the Forgotten Capital, all the other areas within Gaia that we'd explore up to that point would suffer inevitably because of the amount of effort they put into Midgar. And I personally don't want that. I don't want them to force an overworld and overworld locations just to satisfy those fans. But if they wait until the sequels to do the rest of the world, they can make the locations a lot bigger, a lot more detailed, a lot more in-depth. Maybe not on par with Midgar, it's a special location, it's a gigantic city, it does deserve its own game. But locations like Gold Saucer and Junon would suffer if they're crammed into the same game as Midgar because of how much resources went into making that one location. And I think a location like Junon would benefit immensely from waiting until the second game because it's the only other modernized city in the world of Gaia, has paved roads, vehicles, things like that. They could also make this into a massive location, again not on par with Midgar, but sort of like a mini Midgar. Would I love to play the first Final Fantasy VII Remake and get to explore a lot of the world of Gaia? Absolutely, but the simple fact is the more you try to cram into one game, everything all around is going to suffer. If they're trying to build the rest of the world all the way up to the Forgotten Capital, the Midgar is not going to be as good as it will be now that it's a dedicated game. And I've said this before in other videos, and I'm not trying to repeat myself too much because we've talked about this subject before multiple times, but I've always wondered what the rest of Midgar looks like. As somebody who's played the original game countless times throughout my life, there's so much of Midgard that we've never ever seen. And even in the expanded universe, there's sectors and things we've never seen to Midgard, and that's why I'm so excited about this game being Midgard only. And I don't understand how fans of the original game wouldn't also want that. People are so worried about the sequels, what's happening in the next game, what's happening in the rest of the world to Gaia. Like, I'm worried about Midgar, shit. So when it comes to the subject of Square Enix possibly being deceptive with the marketing of the game being Midgar only, I think there's a little bit of truth to that, but not to the point that we're going to be exploring a lot of the world of Gaia. As I said before, maybe we get to explore a little bit of it, but I wouldn't count on Duncan and Gold Saucer anytime soon. By the way, I pass off to you guys in the comment section. I know we've discussed this before a few times, but still, like, I ask questions at the end of my videos. What do you guys think? Do you think... Square Enix is being deceptive with the marketing for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Do you think we're actually going to get to go as far as the Gold Saucer, for example, with the first game? Leave your thoughts and more in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll stay up to date with more Final Fantasy VII Remake content. Turn on my notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dash and David. And my Discord links to my social networks are in the description. In the outro. Later, guys.